Hi guys! So welcome to this new video and this is the last part in the mini-series about the German uh, brand X17 X47 and this time we're going to talk about the heart of your notebook namely the inserts. So here I have my favorite little A6 notebook in the collection X47 Steel and I really love this notebook and frankly when you see this what you fall for the lever you definitely do but when you use it then paper is important as well so in this video we are going to talk about the inserts and we're going to talk about the paper so the first part we're going to talk about the X17 inserts the X47 inserts and the differences between them and uh, what you get in the standard uh, notebook and then finally so we're going to I'm going to show you what you get in the two insert notebooks and in the three insert notebooks and maybe show you that depending on what you're going to do with it then maybe you would be interested in buying a cover and then choosing inserts to get in to go inside the cover rather than taking the standard model so I'm going to show you different formats not everything because it's it would be a super long video and video and then we're going to talk about paper quality because there's something new to X17 and X47 in, in 2020 and uh, that is that they are doing their own inserts now with their Lumix paper which is frankly nicer than the one that they had before which was a nice paper but with a few defaults sorry defects <laughs> Frenchism and so let's start with uh, what you're going to get uh, with X17 and what you're going to get with X47. Right, so here I have an X17 uh, insert in uh, the format A6 and in this one of course I've got X47 inserts. So let's start with this one. So you've got a black card and a white card but that may change that may uh, be different in time. You've got the logo at the back in uh, silver and then it's stitched. Right? And this one is not really expensive. So uh, you only have the uh, this little thing here that makes the insert hold well in your notebook and that's pretty standard, you could even make your own if you wanted to. For example, if you want to do watercolor and you want watercolor inserts in your notebooks, then you could, if you wanted to, you could make them. I think they are planning on uh, offering a watercolor notebook in their collection. Now, when you are going for X47 inserts, um, that is a bit more difficult to do because you have this uh, little metal piece there. So that definitely makes it a bit more expensive. Uh, well, you would say twice the price of the X17 notebook, basically, approximately this. Uh, let me focus on this because that's a bit different from the other one. Of course you won't focus. Ha! Huh. Will it? Because the cover is textured. Ah. Oh. Sometimes it does, sometimes sometimes it doesn't. There you have it. So it's textures, it's like linen. And you have the double card again. So what's the point of a double card? That is the point. You can have a black notebook and then you can have a white notebook. And so the insert goes back like this, you push, find the other one, and that's it. There you go. That's very classy. I really love the uh, this little notebook, but it's actually uh, more expensive. It's a more expensive system. I like the double cut system. I have one black, one white, and white black, one black notebook inside. And what you do is, if you want the black one, then you keep the black one. If you want the white one, then you take away the black one and that's it just tear it away and you've got your white notebook but again that might change 
Also, these ones, they come in 17 different colors, as well as the black. So, you, But again, that's an option, and as an option, it costs a little more. So what is your standard uh, basic package when you take two or three inserts? That's one thing you got to remember with these uh, notebooks is that you have to choose the number of inserts you want and that will remain the number of inserts that you can actually use. So it's a bit different from other systems where you can use one, then add two to the size and then you have three notebooks. This time you've got to choose. But then what you get is a perfectly placed notebook, ins insert inside your notebook, nothing coming out, and that's what you get. So, two inserts, the standard will be white and graph. We'll come back to this later in the other one. Now, when you take the three insert package, then what you'll get, so you get this, you can, you can take it out. So let's take it out. So you'll get the blank notebook, you'll get the lined notebook, and then you'll get the graph notebook. Now, the rest of what I'm going to show you is standard to both X17 and X47 from that point because we've seen the differences between the two. Also, remember, if you want your notebook to carry uh, as a wallet, then you have pockets and you have different options for the pockets. So, remember that you can actually do this. If you have a purse besides, then you can have credit cards and then an ID card there and I would actually do this. I think I'm going to, uh, to set one of these like this. So let's go back to uh, our notebooks and see how they are made. So you've got your two cards and there you've got a first page with a little square there, probably for archiving, probably, and you can put a number to it. All the pages in their notebooks are numbered with a very discrete number. The color is always a dark gray. All the pages in their notebooks are micro perforated and it's almost invisible. In fact it took me some time to realize that you could actually detach the page What's nice is that it's very discreet, so you want to detach the page, you can, but if you don't, it's almost invisible, so that's nice. So that's your blank notebook. In terms of color, well, it's not a bright white because that's not something you would want to write on, a, star, a strong white. So it's a little off-white, let's say. It's not really ivory, it's an off-white. Now the lined notebook, you can identify with that little square that's the lined notebook. Same thing here, you've got your numbers. And the lines are made of extremely close points so that you, it looks like a line. That's very nice. I really like the lined one. I really like the uh, difference between uh, the the space between the two lines. It's thin enough for my own writing. So it's perfect. And now the graph. That's something unusual for us in France. We're used to the uh, five millimeter graph, and this one is a two point five millimeter. But I've been using it, and I actually like it more than the five millimeter square. So that's what you will get. And this time you see you've got the system showing. Now that's where the uh, little tube, metal tube is attached to. So that's the difference between the X17 and X47 and your standard. So let's, let me tell you again, the standard is white, lined and graph. Is it? Ah, oh. focus. Focus, please. There, uh, yeah, so it's focus on close. Okay, let me try this so you can see that beautiful lever. 
let's see if it remains on it there we go perfect now as to formats we've got your classic A6 this, uh, the formats are the standards in uh, A5 or A6 if we're talking A6 it's a real A6 it's a Dean A6 if we're talking A5 it's a Dean A5 etc etc and when it goes away from that size it's called plus like the A4 plus so uh, let me have a drink and then we'll talk about all the different formats right I hope the neighbor's dog won't start barking again so different formats you've got the A7 very small pocketable size so that's the uh, kind of package you receive if you buy the inserts you will buy them with two inserts so they come in packs sometimes you have one insert sometimes you have two sometimes you have three and sometimes for example if you take the uh, daily calendar then you will get six of them because to do the full year then you will need six notebooks and you can put two at one time or three at one time in your notebook so that is the uh, A7 not all uh, models come in all sizes basically you have many many models or a lot of choice in the A5 and A6 formats and in the A4 you only have two or three formats different models depending on the size so of course for the little uh, A7 you have a bit less choice but then you can have a calendar you can have uh, your regular standard notebooks like blank, line, graph and dots and everything so that's the small one now uh, in the A6 format you'll find almost everything let me show you quickly that on that picture is all the different models they have in all the different sizes so they come in A7, A6, A5, A4+, and A5+, square which is the landscape format and that's what you have here and then the colored dots correspond to all the different models that they have uh, from your regular blank notebooks to your dots to your lined to your sheet music to your uh, uh, walks in the woods to even to your pilgrimage or your cookbook so they have a lot of choices a lot of um, different models you can choose from and I think that's an interesting thing because uh, when you move on to the X47 models for example then uh, you have more constraints yeah, you are more limited in terms of what you can do with this so you have choice definitely especially when it comes to uh, organizers so we'll come back to this later let's keep to the different formats so uh, in terms of size let me go back to that little baby there the A7 I got the inches for you <laughs> that's a 3.07 by 4.13 inches now uh, moving on to the A6 uh, that's a 3.86 by 5.7 inches so it's your standard A6 so let me put that on the side now let's move to the A5 A5 format so here we are so in these ones the small ones the paper is thinner because it gives you a more fluid experience with a small size so it's a uh, 60, 64 so here you see it's called Lumex 64 and here we move on to uh, 80 grams per meter square and the format of this white notebook is your standard A5 it's a 5.59 by 8.25 inches now we also have and I'm going to show you then uh, examples of what you get this is X47 in the landscape format 
And here you've got the kind of insert that you would get in the package. That's the white insert. And then an example of something a bit original. It's called the 5x3 method. And it's a bit like the bullet, really. Uh, so something you could actually turn into a bullet. You've got something on the side and it's all with dots and you can definitely use it pretty much like a bullet journal and the principle of the 5x3 met method is quite close. It is just that you give priority to three things you have to do in your day. So that's one example of something original. Here you've got the 5x5 uh, five five graph. So that's pretty common but Definitely now, I prefer the 2.5. And then we have a... which one is it? It's the Foreign Calendar Classic, so that's the weekly uh, calendar classic. So, uh, starts with a list for your priorities. And then you've got one week on two pages. And there you can take notes, and there you can do your little bullets, like a list of priorities, and then it's a narrowly uh, visual presentation. And that's a 2020 calendar. And there it goes. So you have an idea what an organizer would actually look like. Something that's more classic. And so that's the same as this one. If I'm not mistaken, that's the one I just showed you. Yes, that's exactly the same, but that's the uh, 2021 version in the new uh, Lumex paper. And this one is 80 grams per meter square. And that is it. And this one, you've got a pocket with something to put a credit card in or uh, uh, your own cards. That's the white notebook, the other side of the pocket where you can put a, an, A4 pa an A4 paper. Oh, well, it's, A5 is just like paper, an A4 paper. And your graph. And that's another example of a landscape format. And finally you've got the huge A4 which is there at the back. No, the A4 is called A4 Plus. Uh, did I give you the format? No, I did not. Uh, in these ones, in this one, the inserts, the A5 Plus format, it's um, in inches, let me check, it's 8.66 by 6.10 inches. And now, so finally, the big A4, it's called A4 Plus because it can receive A4 size inserts. So the inserts are actually your standard A4 which is the size of a sheet of paper. And the size is 12.20 uh, sorry 8.60 by 12.20 something like that. I hope I'm right. I'm not familiar with your inches. It's really really weird to me. I always have to uh, translate this using my computer and so that's the A size. So just remember for this size that uh, this cover you can put a regular A4 size in it. So if you want to put a paper inside and here you have the huge pocket and your little credit card holder then you can actually put an A4 paper inside. So for all of these formats you do have the corresponding pockets that go with them. And I strongly advise you to get the pockets because they are pretty useful. Okay, and now let me show you the different models. I have a demonstrator. So basically I divide them into uh, three different types. To me they offer the classics the classics being um, an organizer, like the old style organizer, because that's where they start from with X47. 
Then they offer your standard notebooks, the blank, the uh, graph in two different sizes, the dots, the lines, the lines, and that's your standard notebooks. And then they have specialized formats and we'll see them. I will not see all of them. Some of them are introduced in that one. So let me show them to you because it's, they are funny. Funny ones. Right. So here in this one, you see they have one notebook for your mountain walks. All right. They have one for your pilgrimage to, uh, what is it, Santiago de Compostela. So if you want to uh, start from Pamplona and then going to Santiago de Compostela, then you can have your special notebook cooking. That's the circle of time, I will show you that, but that's how you would use it. It's a kind of more visual organizer system. So that's your uh, regular calendar, so they show you how to use their, actually use their notebooks. This one you get only in German, but that's uh, to uh, follow your spendings. This one is for teachers, but it's only in German, but it's actually well done. As a teacher myself, I find it actually quite nice. So that's the teacher one. Oh, actually, that's my papers, so that's actually nice. If you want to have uh, little cards and you want to revise something, for example, then you have that kind of system holding papers and then you open the loop and then all the cards come uh, out and you can have your um, your cards inside, your own cards, or if you want to uh, learn things or stuff. And so I have a demonstrator, so I'm going to show you different formats in this one. No, they call Einlager is the demonstrator. Right, so you have a yearly planner. Also, they have this little thing, the name of which I can never remember, Leporello. Uh, where do I have one of these Leporellos? I have one somewhere. There. That's the, uh, when you take the weekly calendar in the classic format and then all their organizers come with something that is called Leporello. So you've got your regular A6 weekly calendar with one week on two pages and the place where you can actually bullet or use the 5 by 3 method and then you get that thing which you can integrate into your notebooks and then it will show you every important moment in your year and also your important projects I can actually show you that directly in the notebook I have one using that in the book. So let me show you this. In the X47 in A6 format that's where you would put this Leporello and then you can put it right where you want and just open it to one specific month or you can just open it entirely to see uh, everything that's important in your year. So that's what is called the Leporello. And I think that's the word you use in English, but if you do use another word, then I'd be glad to know because I couldn't find any other word for this one. So that's the uh, weekly uh, calendar. So here we have the yearly planner. As you can see, you've got always, you will always get that dark red and uh, nuances of gray. And letters are always in the same dark grey as the lines you will get. So here is the yearly planner. Here the monthly planner. One month on two pages coming in the A7, A6 and A5. Here one month on two pages again. Here one month on two pages but with a different layout. That's actually the layout that you do find uh, in the um, in the uh, huh, uh, traveler's notebook layouts, here you've got one week on two pages, which I showed you just before, which we called the weekly planner classic, which is pretty classic, except 
that you have this little system there, which I find pretty useful. Here, your weekly calendar extended. One week, two pages. You lose the bullet parts, but you have more place uh, next to the hours. Here, you've got the weekly planner. One week to your left, and then a full bullet to your right. That's a nice one. I would actually have a lot of use for this one, except I, I, my lists are so large that I actually need another system, open system. Here, a weekly planner, one week on two pages. And you've got more space to bullet for each day. Here, the weekly planner in a compact format, two weeks on two pages. Here, we find the uh, circle of time again time circles, they call it, one week on two pages. And then this time, for example, if you have an appointment from one to two, then you will color that appointment and write doctor, for example. Most of our, my appointments are with doctors. But classic daily planner, perfect if you want to bullet, perfect if you want to bullet using the hours. That's actually uh, something that... Sometimes with bullet journals, we forget that sometimes just jotting down the time helps you organize your day. So you place things in order. And also you've got two different lines there, so you can separate two things. So that's A6 and A5 formats. Circle of time coming in A6 and A5. So basically A6 and A5 you will find all the models. The 5 by 3 method that we saw before. This one is with dots. So you prioritize, you prioritize three elements here and then you can check them when they are done you can use this side for hours or not you can also use this one because the dots are lightly separated here you've got one missing dot there and as you can see the dots are pretty discreet which I actually find quite nice so there you've got your standard notebooks. So before you had the organizers, now you've got the standards. You've got the white or blank, always numbered, always perforated. Your graph that we saw before, the dots, here again. This is pretty discreet. The number is very small if you compare it to uh, my finger. And so the dots are very discreet. The lines. And now something a bit more original, which comes with the standard sizes, is the uh, music notebook. So if you're a musician, you can write, jot down your notes anytime you have a song coming to your mind, then that's it. You can write them down. And this one they created for a musician. And there you go to you move on to your more specialized notebooks for your teachers, address book dot data register and these ones then are only available in German so I'm not going to show you all of them but the idea is that you have a large choice and you have really have the opportunity to find uh, what is most more useful me personally I go for a totally blank page create my own style and that's what I love because then the white page is completely versatile, you do what you want with it. But if I have to choose one organizer, one organizer type, uh, I, I actually like maybe either this one or this one. There, you're weak on the left and a list of things to do, but then I tend to do daily lists. They are easier to follow. All right. So now, we're going to talk about, to, in my opinion, the most important part of the talk about inserts, and that is paper. Right, so for this part, I'm going to show you uh, the ancient paper and the new paper, or the former paper and the new paper. The new paper is called Lumex, and it's a real improvement. When I reviewed this notebook a few years ago, I mentioned the fact that the paper was the weak point and when I talked to uh, a company representative about this that person said that it was indeed something that their customers often said that the paper was nice but it was the weak point especially when you used uh, fountain pens 
and they have decided they decided uh, to produce their own inserts and they have their own paper now which is called the Lumex and the Lumex is definitely an improvement so I'm going to show you the ancient paper which wasn't bad at all but then I'm going to show you the difference remember that with paper the issue is always some form of compromise between what you're going to use and what you like the most uh, when you use all kinds of things like fountain pens but also your regular standard um, uh, bluing pen or whatever, ballpoint pen or your drawing pencil then you cannot have a total satisfaction with everything so the main difference with the ancient paper is that this one was less aimed at fountain pens and the new one the uh, Lumex which we're going to see just after is really perfect with fountain pens definitely it's a really nice one to that aim alright so let's have a look at it because you will see that that paper was not bad at all I did a test using different nibs I used easy nibs uh, large nibs, uh, thin nibs and up to 1.1 nibs and then I used different inks but mostly dark inks because that's what I use the most and also I used a V-Ball Pilot because that thing is a paper killer so it's nice to actually test uh, using the uh, V-Ball Pilot remember also that the uh, thickness of the paper depends on the size of the notebook the reason why is that when you have the smaller sizes they wanted that paper to feel homogeneous with the rest of the notebook so that comes in a 64 gram per meter square and then your A4 will come in a 90 grams per meter square and your A5 will be 80 grams per meter square so you may have issues uh, in the A6 that you will not have in the A5 let me show you an example in the former paper so that is uh, my reading list so I check the books I've already read like the last one I read was The Girl in the Tower by Elizabeth Arden and there's a lot of show through and then it even comes out on the other side so that's the former paper it doesn't happen with the new one though you have a bit of show through as well because the paper is thin 60 gram per meter square now with this one you will have no breakthrough but you will have a bit of show through as you can see now with this one you had a bit of tooth to it a bit of grain which made it nice for pencil but then you also have a bit of feathering because of course it drank the ink a bit too fast right but still as you can see it's not performing so bad it's actually quite nice it's not the most perfect with fountain pen inks but it actually performs quite nice but sometimes uh, the ink would go through the paper sometimes you would have a lot of show through and sometimes you would have even have a bit of feathering like on this one at the bottom now let's have a look in contrast with the new uh, Lumex paper so I took the lined one so you can see the difference in terms of brightness this one is brighter it is a bit brighter than this one and now as to uh, the ink so let's have a look at it immediately you can see the difference between uh, the 1.1 nib and the easy thin nib is stronger so uh, you will see a difference when you use a very thin nib and when you use a large one the difference the contrast will be uh, stronger the ink leaves a contrast I can get better focus. There. 
here you have a lot more contrast with the ink deposit it's smoother and so uh, the ink takes a bit more time to dry but then you get the nicer contrast with the collection inks and that is the point really in using these inks this time nothing breaks through the page at all you've got a bit of show through but not much it's actually holding the inks much nicer than the other one and as to the V-Ball Pilot it's actually perfect and that real that little pen which I love to write with as my standard go-to pen is actually really bad on most papers so let me show you in contrast between the two there we go so the ink will react more like you expect them to on this paper than on this one so this one is definitely aimed at fountain pain users while this one is a bit more versatile but the Lumex paper is actually quite nice when you like using fountain pens and I think the love of nice inks it does go well with notebooks doesn't it so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of all the inserts and now you know a bit better. My advice is go to their website. Everything's explained pretty damn well and in perfect English. Better than mine, sorry. <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. When I go over my videos before I publish them, I am ashamed of what I hear, some hear sometimes. I'm sorry about this. A lack of practice, I guess, with this COVID thing. I've been waiting to see my pupils again. Then, well, then you know all you have to know about their inserts, a lot of choice, a very nice new paper called the Lumex, plenty of different things to choose from. And that will be the end of our mini series. I hope you have enjoyed that series. If that's the case, then don't forget to put a thumbs up and share that video and if you have questions I always answer them like in less than 24 hours so do not hesitate if I have the answer to your question you get it as soon as I can and that's it for today see you next time